So we're finally ready to look at forms of particular solutions for non-homogeneous recurrence relations. So this is kind of a guide for finding the form of a particular solution for a non-homogeneous recurrence relation. So let's suppose you have a non-homogeneous recurrence relation, an equals c1a minus 1 plus c2a minus 2, so on and so forth, cka minus k plus some function. And let's say this function, f of n, that's the non-homogeneous part. Let's say that's a polynomial times a geometric term. In other words, your polynomial would be d0 plus d1n plus d2n squared plus so on and so forth, dk and k. That's a polynomial degree k times the geometric part. S is the geometric common ratio or the geometric base to the n power, right? S to the n power, that's the geometric part. So that's uh, the way we're going to be having our setup. Our, um, our non-homogeneous part will be a polynomial times a geometric term. So if S, that's called the, what is S called? It's called the geometric base or the common ratio of the geometric term. If S is a root of the characteristic equation of the associated homogeneous recurrence relation, then your particular solution is just going to have the form a polynomial of degree k, that's E0 plus E1 times n plus E2 times n squared plus Ek times n to the k times a geometric term, S to the n. That's if S is not a root. So if you're S is not a root of the characteristic equation for the associated homogeneous recurrence relation. Okay, what about F is a root? So if it turns out that S is a root of multiplicity M, so I'll go back. Let me get my yellow out again. So this S here, if that turns out to be a root of multiplicity m to the characteristic equation of the associated homogeneous recurrence relation, then the particular solution is going to be a little more complicated. So, I mean, you still have the polynomial part of degree k here, right? You still have the geometric term s to the n. But if this s right here is a root, right, if it is a root of multiplicity m, then you're going to have to throw this extra term here in front, n to the m power. Now, where is this m power coming from? This m power is the multiplicity, right, the multiplicity of the root s. So that's key. You're going to have this extra n to the m there in front, if s is a root of your homogeneous characteristic equation. So those are the form, those are the way you write your forms for your particular solution. All right, so let's get some exercise under our belt. Get our brains going. Consider the recurrence relation an 2am minus 1. plus 4an minus 2, minus 8an minus 3, plus fn. Now fn, we don't know what it is, just some function of n. Determine the particular solution, or the form, the form of the particular, of the particular solution. If, okay, F part A, let's say Fn, the non-homogeneous part is n minus 2. Now, before you do anything, before you even set, start setting up the form of the particular solution, what you need to do is focus on the associated homogeneous recurrence relation. So we're going to write this to the side, associated homogeneous. Recurrence relation.
All right, so basically, let's look at the homogeneous part right here. And we're going to call that HN. HN equals 2HN minus 1 plus 4HN minus 2 minus 8HN minus 3. And I'm going to look at the characteristic equation of that. Characteristic equation. So we're of what degree 3 here? So we're going to have what? r cubed equals 2r squared plus 4r minus 8. All right, I'm going to get 0 on the right-hand side. I'm going to subtract 2r squared from each side. Subtract 4r from each side, add 8 to each side. If I do grouping, the first two terms, and grouping the second pair of terms, I can factor out what's called uh, an r squared under the first two terms and get r minus 2. I can factor out a minus 4 out of the second pair of terms and get r minus 2. This is all equal to 0. Uh, we can factor out an r minus 2 out in common. Right, we have an r minus 2 here in common. And that'll leave us with, leave us with uh, r squared minus 4. This is all equal to 0. So we have what? r minus 2. And the r squared minus 4 is factoring into r minus 2. r plus 2. That's all equal to 0. So in reality, you have what? r minus 2 quantity squared. r plus 2. Well, that's equal to 0. So you're going to have two roots. r equals 2 is going to have multiplicity 2, and r equals minus 2 is going to have multiplicity 1. All right. That's important. So we want to focus on now the particular form of the non-homogeneous recurrence relation when fn is n minus 2. So let's focus on n minus 2. That's a polynomial of degree 1. And the question is, what geometric part do you have here on the end? Geometric term, you have 1 to the n power, right? You always want to make sure, you always want to check your geometric part. You always have a geometric part. If you don't see any, it's understood to be 1 to the n, right? Because 1 to the n is just times 1. All right, so now... That means our particular solution, so this is going to be the form of particular solution that I'm writing here. We're going to call it P sub n. Uh, this is going to be, so our polynomial part, if you look at our polynomial part, I'll put that in, what, yellow? Right, that's a polynomial of degree 1, right? n minus 2 is a linear term. So a linear term would be, what would a linear term be? e0 plus e1n. That's what the form would be for the linear term. And as for the geometric term, 1 to the n there, we got to put a 1 to the n on the end. Now, here's the question. Does that geometric base, the common ratio 1, so does that geometric base, 1 right there, is that one of the roots to our characteristic equation? No, it's not, right? Our roots were 2 and negative 2, 2 and negative 2. So since it's not a root, we just leave our particular form like that, and we can simplify it. This is what? Pn equals e0 plus e1 times n. There it is the form of the particular solution. All right, um, what else shall we do? 
Let's do another, a part B. Part B, let's say the Fn, that's the, the non-homogeneous non part of the recurrence relation, the very end of it, is 3 to the n. Now 3 to the n, we want to make sure that is written as a polynomial and a geometric part. If we see the geometric parts 3 to the n, the question is what is the polynomial part? The polynomial part will be the coefficient 1, right? 1 times. 3 to the n is the way we're, the way we're going to write that. So now we can write the form of the particular solution. It's going to be p sub n equals. So the uh, the polynomial part is just the constant, row 1, right? So for the particular solution type, we're going to put a constant, e sub 0. It's called a polynomial of degree 0, e sub 0. A constant is a polynomial of degree 0. And then for the, what's it called, the geometric part, we're going to use 3 to the n. And then we have to check our base, our geometric base, which is sometimes called the common ratio there, 3, and we have to check if it's a root. No, it's not, right? The roots are 2 and negative 2, so we don't have to do anything extra. We don't have to put any n out in front. We just leave it like that. There we are. There is the form of the particular solution when the non-homogeneous part is 3 to the n power. All right, let's do a part C. Part C, what are you all about? Hmm, let's see, I have 2 to the n power as my fn. All right, so 2 to the n power, that's just a geometric term, but you can write that. You need to make sure you have a polynomial geometric. So the polynomial part is going to be the constant 1, and then times 2 to the n. All right, so here's the form of our particular solution. That's what we're after. Form of particular solution. P sub n equals. Okay, so first of all, we're going to say that here we have a constant for our polynomial part. So here for the polynomial part, we're just going to have a constant called E0. And then we had a geometric part, right? 2 to the n. 2 to the n. So we have to write 2 to the n on the end. And then we have to check our geometric common ratio, our geometric basis 2. Turns out 2 is one of our roots, right? So since that's the case, since the geometric base is one of our roots to our characteristic of function, we're going to have to put an n out front. And then we're going to have to put the multiplicity of that root. So the multiplicity was 2, so we're going to have to put an n squared out front. Right, so it turns out that pn is going to be e0 n squared times 2 to the n power. That's going to be the particular form, the, uh, the form of the particular solution when the non-homogeneous part is 2 to the end. All right, let's do another. Uh, D. Where is D at? What if Fn, the non-homogeneous part, the ending, where n squared times 5 to the n? Well, let's write down particular solution form. The form of the particular solution. Okay, I forgot to write form, so I'll put it at the end here. Particular solution form. We're going to call it Pn. Now look at this. So we have a polynomial part here is n squared. That's a second degree polynomial, so we're going to have to put uh, for particular 
um, solution, we're going to have to have a second degree degree polynomial E0 plus E1N plus E2N squared. And then we're going to have to have this geometric part, right? 5 to the N, put that on the end. And see if anything else needs to be done. Okay, let's check out the, the base, the geometric base is 5. Is that one of your roots? No, it's not any of your roots. Your roots are 2 and negative 2. So you don't have to do anything out front. No N out front or anything like that. So there it is. All right, let's do an E. I guess this will be my last example. What if I had Fn equals, how about N times negative 2 to the n power. Let's say that were my non-homogeneous part on the end of my recurrence relation. Well, we want to write down the form of the particular solution. Form of particular solution. It's going to be Pn. And first of all, we notice that Fn has a polynomial of degree 1, right? A linear term, n. So that means our particular solution has to have a linear term. Let's call it E0 plus E1n, right? That's our linear term. Then it has to have a geometric part as well. Negative 2 to the n was the geometric part for the non-homogeneous ending. So we're going to have a negative 2 to the n geometric part. And now we got to check that uh, geometric base. So this geometric base here is negative 2. Remember that was one of our roots, right? That was our root right here. Well, if I can circle it, it'd be nice. Negative 2, right? And it had a multiplicity of 1. Okay, so since this negative 2 here is one of our roots, it means we have to put an n out front. And since the multiplicity was 1, we're going to put an n to the 1 power, n to the 1 power. So if you simplify this just to, well, I mean, you can leave it like that if you want to. If you really want to, you can leave it like that. If you simplify it, though, you can rewrite this, right? Pn equals e naught times n plus e1 n squared. You can distribute that blue n through and then write negative 2 to the n power. It's probably the way I would write the particular form. All right, so that's it. That's uh, finding forms of particular solutions. Um, the next big thing is to actually start doing the entire, uh, all the solutions, all the solutions for a non-homogeneous recurrence relation.